This video is to compare two very similar and excellent calculators. These are pretty well known by now and if you're watching this video you probably know about them. There are other videos that talk about the more general aspects and there's a very detailed paper that compares these two or the two predecessors that um, I'll try to put a link somewhere that you can check that out. It's an impressive piece of work. The two calculators here are the Casio FX 115 ES Plus and the Sharp EL W516X. And I want to just highlight a few differences like I said. So the first thing I'm going to look at here is the uh, the way the Sharp can save formulas. It's got um, and it remembers what was on the stack or in, in your workspace, however you want to phrase that. So let's do an example of an equation for, this is a variation on the cosine, law of cosines. So on the Casio, I'm going to put it in here. Don't have any way to do lowercase, so a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine See, these guys are tolerant of not putting in times and all that good stuff. I enter that. I'm going to hit equal. And it comes up with a value because there's A, B, and C, or a, yeah, A, B, and C values already in this calculator. And I'm going to do the same thing on the sharp here. I'm not going to worry about putting the C equals, but we have A squared plus B squared minus 2. A, B, cosine of C. It equals. All right. It too has a value. And um, now I'm going to turn these off after all my hard work. Off, off, and oops. Didn't turn the Casio off. All right. There's the off. Seemed like it would be shift on, but it's not. And now it's powering back up. Casio and the sharp. And the big difference is the Casio is completely a blank slate, whereas the Sharp remembers what I had last done, and that's a nice to have.